Hello, this is Paul Crazon. I'm the Network Media Product Manager at AMX. And in this video, I'd like to briefly go over the new features that we came out in the Vision 2 7.2.2 update. Now, this was a minor update, and it was intended to bring three new capabilities to your Vision 2 system. The first of these is really targeted at our Netlinks programmers who want to integrate Vision 2 in with a control system. So we came out with a duet module and some sample Netlinks code and touch panel pages that allows you to easily integrate a Vision 2 system in with a control system to do things like control a set-top box in a room and tell it when to play a live video or video on demand, or to tell a bunch of set-top boxes that you all want them to switch over to a live channel together, or to do things like start and stop recording. That duet module required a few API changes, and the 7.2.2 release basically installs those API changes into your Vision 2 system. So if you intend to use the Duet module, you would want to uh, install this update. The second capability that we've added is related to the archive. And today in the archive, when you add content, it basically goes into the archive in the order in which it was added. And that's how it's displayed to users. And this is this is uh, good for a lot of uses if you're interested in easily getting to the newest content. We also have the search capability, which allows you to find video. But sometimes people want to be able to browse to the content based on what the, the name of the, the video or the folder uh, is. And so what we've done is added the ability to alphabetize the archive. And we've done that with, by adding this button up here, which says sort entire archive. And what this button does is it basically rebuilds the archive in an alphabetical manner. And so then all the content will be displayed both in the administrative UI and to any clients in an alphabetical way. Now what I should mention is, is that this is a, a effectively a one-time reordering of the archive. If you go in and add additional content, it will go in in the order it was added. But if at any point you want to alphabetize it again, you just go in and click on this button and it will all be sorted into alphabetical order. The third capability in 7.2.2, and one that I think a lot of people will be really excited about, is related to adding bookmarks or thumbnails at arbitrary points in a video. Sometimes you have meaningful points or important points within a video, and you want it to be easy for a person to navigate right to those points. You want to be able to identify them, mark them, and then make it easy for a viewer to jump to those. And so we've created a new tool, and that tool allows you to create and view these bookmarks. So you navigate to this tool by going to the name of your server and thumbsedit.aspx, and it will basically take you to a tool. And this tool you'll need to authenticate. This allows you to limit the people who could create bookmarks. And then you'll be presented with this screen. And in this screen, you can go in and Basically, you see your entire archive contents on the left. If you have more than one archive, you can select the archive here. And what's neat is, is that if you're going to sit down and do numerous videos, you can actually go in and queue up the different videos that you want to go in and uh, add thumbnails or bookmarks to. So we'll go ahead and remove these, and I'll show you an actual example. So basically, you've got the video here. If there was any metadata for this video, it would show up. And then basically, we can show the thumbnails. And these are thumbnails that I had already identified. And for every thumbnail, there's the time of the thumbnail, the thumbnail itself. And then you can add some text with every, uh, with every thumbnail to, make, to help identify what that point in the video is. And if you just click on a thumbnail, it will take you to a viewer window and it will actually jump right to that point in the video. Now from within this viewing window here, you can see all of the thumbnails that I have in the video. I can jump to say minute 14 in the video. We'll go ahead and pause that, mute this. And as I'm going along watching it, if I say, oh, you know what, this is another meaningful point, I can go in and I can say I want to add a new thumbnail. And at this point it will add the thumbnail and editing the text for it is a simple matter of clicking the edit button. 
going in and we'll say, change the text, and then saving it, or I can cancel out. I can also go in and delete thumbnails. And the thumbnails here are presented in the, in the time order of the, the video itself. Now, a couple of things that I like to, uh, I'd like to point out about this, uh, about this tool. One is that the thumbnails themselves have to happen on an iframe. And so sometimes if your iframes are several seconds apart, when you enter a thumbnail, it may actually occur within a few seconds of where you actually put it because we needed it, we needed it to occur on an iframe in the video. The other thing is, is we do have a limit. We can support up to 200 thumbnails per video. And I think that that probably is sufficient for most applications. But I wanted to, uh, to point out that that is the, the maximum number of, of thumbnails that you can have. And then when you're done, you can go back to the archive. And now that thumbnail that we added and its description is right there in the list. Now that's for the, this is the screen for the people who want to be able to add and edit thumbnails. What about for people who are viewers, where you wouldn't want them going in and, and editing the thumbnails or the descriptions? We have a very similar UI, and it's called thumbsviewer.aspx. And if you go to that, you'll, you'll see that it looks very, very, very similar to the previous view. The difference is now that when I go in and I play my video, I don't have this ability to add thumbnails at this point. So, so that's it. This is a, uh, this is a uh, new feature that I think is going to be very, very useful for a lot of people, uh, particularly people who want to call out certain important points within videos. So those are the three new features within Vision 2 7.2.2. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your Salesforce. Or for more information, visit www.amx.com. Thanks a lot.